Good morning, Tampa Bay. Today is April 16th, 2020. It is Thursday. We are coming to you live from Tampa, Florida. The time is 538. The weather today is uh, 66 right now, 538 in the morning. 66 degrees right now. The high is going to be 66. And we have a good 30 to 60% chance of rain all day. I hope you all stay safe out there. Uh, today's three by five message is going to be um, uh, just a couple of points I've been thinking about this week. And I'm going to do them one at a time and hopefully get through this, but please be patient as I am doing this live. Okay, you know what? I am going to go live right. Hey, Tampa Bay, hope everything's going good. Today is April 16th, 2020. And this is Kevin Couture coming to you at 5.40 in the morning. And I wanted to share a couple of things on my five by, my three by five message. And if you'll be patient with me, we will get it going. Uh, the first thing is, this is my agent website, kevinintheusa.com. If you could visit it, I would appreciate it. If you know of anybody who needs to buy real estate, sell real estate, or invest in real estate, please look me up. Thank you. A um, couple of things. Uh, the yellow pages, we all remember those back in the day. And um, we would get excited when the new ones came out every year and look for our name in them. Well, it's been a long time since somebody said yellow pages, but the saying that rem I remember growing up as a kid was reach out and touch someone by that meaning, um, call them. So here's just a couple of images from that. And, uh, I would encourage everybody to reach out and call somebody. Um, I'm sure they would like to hear your voice. Um, especially if you haven't heard from them in a while. I know I would. Reach out and call me. You can even uh, DM me. Okie doke. Second thing. Uh, starting a social media channel. This particular website uh, has some topics that are worth uh, getting you going. And I'm going to read a couple of them. Uh, so I would encourage why you are furloughed or even if you are working to kind of uh, document what you're doing, what's going on in your life and how you're getting through these days and um, where you are. Uh, the first thing is uh, talk about things you treasure. Doesn't matter how big or small your business is, people love insider warm fuzzies. Of course, the cats and the dogs, they got my attention. Uh, other than that, uh, try things that inspire you. Talk about that. Uh, favorite tools you use to make your life easier. And I'm just reading these off. Uh, I haven't went, been through them yet. Uh, bragging rights. Brag about stuff that you have done. Brag about stuff your kids have done, uh, your parents have done, your grandparents have done. Um, just talk. Um, maybe keep it short at first, three minutes or so. And then talk about other people's stuff, you know, something that has possibly influenced you. Uh, okay, let's go to the dreaded B word, budgeting. Uh, this here is from Dave Ramsey's uh, Ramsey Solutions. Uh, he's got several people on his team talking about budgeting. Uh, he's been doing it for many years. Uh, this one's by uh, Rachel Cruz, his daughter. Um, just want to get you guys going on a couple of things. Uh, there's a lot of websites out there that will uh, help you do budgeting online. Uh, but I like the original one, which is a pen and a piece of paper, a yellow pad. Um, there's many ways to do this. Uh, doing it is the most important thing, although. Uh, first, a uh, couple of tips that she recommends is budget to zero before the month begins. Yeah, look out the front window instead of the rear mirror. Uh, budget together if you're, uh, if you're in a relationship uh, or if you're a couple or married. Uh, the third thing is every month is different. Uh, December is one of those, right? Um, vacation time also, you got to make a budget for your vacation. Uh, start with the most important categories first and 
pay off your debt. He's got uh, something he recommends is the snowball effect on paying off your debts. Check that out. It's Dave Ramsey and uh, Rachel Cruz. Uh, the next thing I'd like to talk about is Tampa Bay Bingo, Tampa Bay Takeout Bingo. Uh, this is something new that was started in our area, uh, but I don't know if it was originally this person's idea, but it's uh, basically uh, where you live. Uh, there's restaurants that have signed up for this and you order takeout from their restaurant and uh, you get a stamp. And you can see you got uh, West Shore, Gandy, Dale Mabry, uh, Seminole Heights, St. Pete, Downtown, 4th Street, Carrollwood, Lutz, Land Lakes, Safety Harbor, Clearwater, Dunedin, Trinity, Newport, Ritchie. Uh, so we got quite a few, uh, Sarasota Downtown and Siesta Key. All these restaurants are participating in that. And if you can support them, I know they would appreciate it. Uh, their business is way down. Uh, there's some rules on the bingo and there might be a prize as well. So check it out. It's tampabaytakeoutbingo.com. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is a book I read many years ago. Uh, the book is called Who Moved My Cheese? And uh, it's a short read. could be read in, in one day, in one sitting, or over a couple of days. Uh, the description, uh, and this is on Amazon, but you can get this book used as well. Uh, the book is is offered by Spencer Johnson, MD. I'll read a couple of lines from it as well. Um, the book is uh, titled, Who Moved My Cheese? It is a simple parable that reveals profound truths. It is amusing and a lightning story of four characters who live in a maze and look for cheese to nourish them and make them happy. Two are mice named Sniff and Scurry, and two are little people, being the size of mice who look and act a lot like people. Their names are Hem and Haw. Uh, cheese is a metaphor for what you want to have in life, whether it is a good job, loving relationship, money, a passion, health, or spiritual peace of mind. And the maze is where you look for what you want, the organization you work in or the family or community you live in. In the story, the characters are faced with unexpected change. Eventually, one of them deals with it successfully and writes what he has learned from his experience on the maze walls. Uh, this is a great book. Um, it fits today. And uh, prior to our COVID virus and all that going on now, um, it was a read that really encouraged me. And I read it a couple times. Um, and I encourage everybody to do the same. Okay, everybody, I hope uh, you have a good day. This is Kevin Couture coming to you recorded live and live on the social media sites. Please uh, check it out, like it, subscribe to my channels uh, all over social media. And we will check in soon. Talk to you all later.